Really? Zelda tribe? What's next? The Goron Nation? What? It had a nice ring to it. Hey, Red? Yeah? Shut up. Piss off, bookworm. <sighs> I'm glad that's over with. I still can't believe the four of you were stuck doing the old man's chores. You didn't think for a second that it was a con? Well, that's what the letter said. The kid from the village gave us the letter, and we were trying to figure out how to rescue you. Yeah, I get that, but this took you way too long. Just look at me! I'm a walking piece of scrap metal! I thought it was fun at first, but it's really hot in here. <laughs> that feels so much better. Yeah, but it's not our fault. Blame the old man that lives near the Eastern Palace. He led us on a wild cuckoo chase. It's unrelated to Red's incident, mind you. Speaking of cuckoos, how much longer are we going to have these freaks tagging along? <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, I take it back, I take it back! Wow, it's almost like you've had that coming. Admittedly, Red does make a good point. It's getting a tad overcrowded. But we need them to get information out of people, don't we? Let's, um... Let's not ruffle any more feathers for the time being. Good point. Besides, last time we brought a cuckoo, we kinda terrorized the place. That's no good. Might be better to send the cuckoos back to the ranch. <laughs> Alright! No more of those! I mean, um, ah oh man, that's too bad. Oh. I'm so sure, Red. Aw, just when things were getting good. Okay, fine. Sorry guys, time to head back to the ranch. We will call you again when we need you, okay? Hey, Zelda, are you going to bring that suit of armor along, too? Well, it gets really hot in there, and on occasion it can be hard to move around, so I'm thinking about it. Actually, I think it's better to have Zelda in the armor. I don't think the people of Hyrule would be okay seeing the princess as a ghost. Blue makes a good point. The last thing we need is to have the kingdom in a state of panic. I agree. I wouldn't want my people to see me as a ghost. That would be so embarrassing. Really? That's the thing you're embarrassed about the most? <laughs> Do you want me to possess you again? Because being rude to royalty will get you possessed again. All right! You win! You win! Wow. <laughs> All bark and no bite, huh, Red? You try getting possessed one of these days. So where in Kakariko is the shopkeeper the old man spoke of? We need to get the mirror shards fast. Let's ask around town. Someone must know about him. All right, then. Let's not waste any time. Lead on, fearless leader. Let's do it before Vati gets any creepier ideas. What could he possibly do that's worse than what he's already done? I'd rather not wait around to find out. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Hey, Purple, what's that in your pocket? Oh, nothing, honest! Where is this shop located exactly? The old man said it was somewhere in the village. Ah, uh, crap. We should have asked for directions before leaving the old fart. Uh, wait a minute. I think I might know where it is. You do? Kind of. My mind is still a little blurry, and I can't figure out why I remember it exactly. Now I have a bad feeling about this. Blue, not now. I think Grant's onto something. I never thought I'd say that. I think it's farther down south of the village. All I know is there are two stores, and one of them has some kind of quill as a logo. It sounds like the library. Huh. I think that explains the magazine. I mean, strategy guide. Strategy guide? For what? A new game I've been playing called None of Your Business. The sequel to Shut Up and Don't Talk About the Guidebook. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, let's just say we need to investigate in more detail. I can tell when people are lying, remember? It's not like that, we just have to, uh... We have to decipher the clues in order to figure out where the mirror shards are. Yeah, exactly! Link, you better tell me what's going on. Um, it's guy stuff. It's complicated. Look, I'm currently part of the team right now, so as a princess, I have the right to know in full detail what happened all this time and... Holy Hyrule Historia, is that a sale? I have to see what's in fashion this season! <laughs> Zelda, wait! Where are you going? Yeah, that was close. I touched a huge arrow there. But she's going to scare off all the customers. Let her! That means more stuff for her in this case. I mean, she's the princess anyway, so it's not like they wouldn't have given it to her anyway, right? But we can't just leave her unattended. One of us has to keep an eye on her. 
Purple, can you keep her company? Why, why me? Because you are the fifth wheel. Choke on a Rupor, jerk! Well, you're dressed like you know about fashion, so... Hey, that's not funny! No, seriously. Purple's the new black from what I can see. What does that even mean? I have no idea. It's an expression, I guess. Just keep her distracted while we head to the store. We won't take long. But what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, these dresses are so cute! Is that one 50% off? Good Scott! Why did I have to be a shopkeeper today of all days? Just give her fashion advice. Be the next Giorgio Dermani. I'm sorry, who? Just, just give me the stupid magazine and keep her busy. We'll do the rest. Fine. I hate shopping. Hey, Zelda, wait for me! Giorgio Darmani? Don't ask. This dress is so adorable! Oh, but I can't try it out with this thing on. Hmm. Hey, Purple, can you try it on for me? What? You want me to wear a dress? No way! I just want to see how it looks. Please? Mm, what's in it for me? I'll possess red and smash his face against the wall for 10 minutes anytime you ask. Fine, deal. You want to join her, Red? No way! I am not playing dress up with her. Besides, she already gives me splitting headaches, both literally and figuratively. Let Side Purple deal with her. Let me guess. Until she gets her body back. Yeah, see? Blueberry gets it. Great minds do think alike. <sighs> You're always sticking with your sword. Get it? I made a dick joke. A joke's not good if you have to explain it. I know. But I assume from experience that your IQ is roughly around your shoe size, so I felt like I should give you a helping hand, chum. Why don't you deep throw my sword, you son of a bi- And I immediately stop caring about this conversation. Let's get going unless we want to become the princess's royal mannequins. Right. Red, lead the way. Huh? Oh yeah, um, I, I think it's over there. Oh wow, that dress looks super cute on you! I wonder if it has a purse and a pair of boots to go with it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die in a sea of pretty dresses and fashionable attire. Uh, excuse me, sir. Was it? Who's that? Oh, a customer! Welcome to my little shop, Haru's Bargain Boutique. You find it, I... Well, I'm working on a sales pitch, but my store is very good. Very good indeed! Not only with books, prophecies, scripts, scriptures, statues, and numerous other mystical things that begin with the letter S and other odds and ends. Kinda of looking to expand into other markets someday, but you know how business is. You know how business is, right? Mm, no. Oh well. What can I do for you boys? And before you ask, no, I do not carry comic books. Actually, we're looking for some information. Ooh, information! I love information. Information is awesome. What are you looking for? Have you ever heard of anything about fragments of a mirror of twilight? Yeah, well, they look like, well, mirror fragments. How detailed. Oh, shut up, Green. It's been a long day. Hmm. I have heard of this mirror. Somewhere. Maybe. What can you tell us about it? Let's see, how to cook a kins down into a pastry? No. Gossip on Gorons. Ooh, I forgot I had the latest edition of that. Our rules, criminals at large. Oh, not bad, not bad. Mm. I'm not too sure where the fragments are, but the book that tells the tale should be somewhere. Ah, fantastic. Another loose end. Don't give up just yet, young man. Aha! Here we go! This prophecy was written by a wise one who predicted the shattering of the mirror of the twilight and where you may find the pieces. Well, that's awfully convenient. A prophet? So this was a prediction? Pretty much. Hmm. Whoever wrote it certainly loved their rhymes. <clears throat> mirror of twilight is my name, you shall say. My fragments you seek to open my twilight doorway. Seek out my first with a body of old and a soul of immature. Seek out my second in a body of life, blue and pure. Seek out my third in a body of heat dry sight. Seek out my fourth, hidden, yet found in man's delight. As you assemble them, the rhyme you must know, for without it, the mirror will not act so. Mirror of twilight, goer of worlds, 
Assemble and open with all your perils. Wait a second. That last part didn't rhyme. That's false advertising. Red, who cares? I do. How long ago was this written? Well, there's no date on it. My guess is a long time ago. A very long time ago. How can some prophet from long ago even know where we're looking for this magic mirror? Have you ever had too much magic milk in one go? Uh, no? Yeah! See, these guys love this stuff. They thought you let them see the future. So we're dealing with the ramblings of a lunatic. Great! Hey wait, the first one! Body Vault and Soul of Immature! Yeah, that! We found one shard already, and some old pervert had it. Did he have a soul of immature? Yep. That guy is exactly why this quest is taking too long. Hmm. Maybe those weird prophets were on to something after all. I should start selling magic milk here too. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> why? Worried I'll get some new customers interested in prophecies? No. Worried you'll empty too many wallets. Especially Rez. I see no problem with this whatsoever. Uh, yeah, thanks. Listen, can we have that in writing? Already written down for you. How much do I? Oh, nothing. You've been a great help to me. Good day. Uh, okay, thanks. Oh, before you leave, would you mind getting me my glasses? They should be over on the table to your right. Or maybe left. I don't know. I've basically been doing muscle memory to find everything. I'll get it. That noise. Red, was that really necessary? They were like two feet away from you. Two feet too many? Anyway, here's your... You! 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 Oh, Faror, what did you do now? Uh... See? See? Oh my god! Sweet Hylia, let's get the hell out of here! Thief! What was that? Yes, Red, what was that? Oh, um, I, I think I just remembered how I got my hook shot. Oh, did you now? Yeah, you see... I just love running a store and not being stolen from. That's my favorite part of a day, honestly. Just running a store and not being stolen from. I especially love that my very expensive, one-of-a-kind, super ultra-deluxe hookshot that I totally didn't grave rob to get is still here. Oh boy, a customer! I think. Welcome to High Rules Bargain. Hey, you um. You got any, uh, magic milk? Milk? I'm so sorry, young man, but we don't carry beverages in his store. Nah, it's cool, it's cool. I'll just get, I'll, get, I'll get the... Yes, we have plenty of things for sale. Magic potion, arrows, a shovel, my... Don't touch the hookshot! <gasps> touch? Yes, don't touch. No touch? Yes. <clears throat> Yes? Yes! Okay, I'm a touch. No! Thief! Thief! I will destroy you! Hey, look! The ruby! Yay, money! <gasps> Hey, where did everybody go? Oh cool, springy thing! Whee! Wow. Some hero. Hey! Heroes get drunk too! Not always, but when they do, it's usually because they already did their duty. You just got your butt whooped by a bunch of cuckoos! Ah, uh, you fight them! And you tell me how it goes! Forget it, guys. We got the info we need. Let's go get Zelda and see if she can figure out anything about these riddles. That, and we need to get Purple out of that beauty store. We should go super slowly, just to make Purple suffer more. Actually, why do we treat Purple like this? Because he's everything we don't want to be! And he's annoying! Now let's go! Hold on now, he's done his fair share in the team. I think we should cut him some slack. Treat Purple with some respect for once. <laughs> uh, guys?
guys. <laughs> Mission. Riddle. <laughs> Ring a bell. Right. Let's go. <sighs> that was a good one. Treat purple with respect. <laughs> Green, you're a damn good comedian sometimes. And he says purple's the annoying one. Sheesh. See?